Eagles was the social club in the West End in the 1940s. All the bars had social clubs. But then in the 1950s, when television came in, and the clubs all faded out. They had these big bottles of beer called Brown Bombers. When the flood came, they all floated out the windows that somebody forgot to close. And the men in the neighborhood got in canoes and in flatboats, and they went down and they fished them out. Beer, beer, beer. Well, when I was 13, uh, it was World War II and it had just begun. I was an air raid warden. When uh, people in the neighborhood didn't pull their drapes when they knew it was going to be an, an air raid test, then I would go up and tell them, please uh, do your Venetian blinds, etc. Your light is showing. And I never realized the, the, how ridiculous that was because we were a thousand miles from the East Coast and 4,000 miles from Europe. And there weren't planes that could fly that far. But we still conducted uh, air raid drills. And as an air raid warden, I took it very seriously. But in retrospect, I look back and realize how absurd it was that we were concerned about the Germans bombing uh, Covington, Kentucky. I love Davu Park. Five minutes from downtown and you're back to nature. Before the shops, Pike Street began as the Turnpike, a dusty road carved by wild buffalo. Now, Pike is back on the fast track for high tech. At UpTech, we work with technology startups, and our goal is to accelerate the next big idea. We get them off the street, and they work out, and they're too tired to get in trouble, and they either become good boxers or, or they don't. Strong and innovative women were behind many success stories, like St. Elizabeth Hospital and Thomas More College. Today, the Sisters of Notre Dame and volunteers are helping at-risk kids in Covington to succeed. If it wasn't for Notre Dame, I wouldn't be in a lot of trouble my, for my high school. I wouldn't be doing so well, and I couldn't get all the scholarships I got uh, the day I graduated from grade school. 